Hey everybody, welcome back to Booster Income with Bootstrap to WordPress. This lecture is called Installing Free Web Fonts with Typekit and Google Fonts. All right, let's add some custom font libraries to our HTML. A couple things to take note of. Here is the final WordPress website, and here is the final static website. Very subtle difference, but the difference is there. Um, if you look at the fonts here, just look at the Bootstrap to WordPress title here. You can see that the font is slightly different here in the static one and in the WordPress one. Well, that is because here I'm using Google Fonts to serve up a font called Railway, and here I am using um, Proxima Nova. The font is called Prox Proxima Nova with Typekit by Adobe. So the final font we're going to be using is Proxima Nova because it's a much sexier looking font, in my opinion. However, Railway is not too bad itself. Um, but I want to show you how to add both. So there is Typekit and there is Google Fonts. The reason why the static one isn't serving up Proxima Nova with Typekit is because Typekit, if I show you here in my, my kits, you can see my kit settings, the domains that the, these fonts can, will show up on are uh, bradhussey.ca, localhost, and bootstrap to wordpress.com. That is where the font will show up. If it doesn't have any of these, if, if it's not a part of these domains, then they won't show up. So Proxima Nova is looking for uh, any of these uh, domains here. But because the static site is just hosted on my local machine, file, volumes, blah, 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 it can't serve up that font. So it's falling back to the Google font. So I'm going to show you how to do both, how to add both just you know, for variety, and you might like some Google fonts better than Typekit. Plus, Google fonts is free. Typekit is free as well, but the basic version of it is free. So Google fonts, we have google.com slash fonts, and all you have to do is just type in the font you're looking for here if you already know it, or you could just you know play around with this to kind of find a font that you're looking for. I'm already looking for Railway, so here's what we're looking for. I'm going to add this one to my collection. So here it is down in my collection. And down here, I want to click use. And I think I will add, so normal, and let's add bold as well. Okay, here it shows you the page load, the impact on the page load time. And then here's the script, uh, or the code you want to add to your website in order to reference the CSS. So you can use the standard, you can use the at import, or JavaScript. Let's just use standard. Go ahead and copy that HTML snippet there. And then all you have to do is add it to your header here in the index file, or in all of your files, but in this case, we're on the index file. So I'm going to add right here, Google fonts, and then paste that. There is our link to the Google fonts. And in order to reference the railway font, integrate the fonts into your CSS, this is all you need to do. So when you're typing out the font family you want to use in CSS, font family in a pair of strings, railway. So that is all for Google Fonts. We're not doing the CSS yet, but that's, uh, that's there. So when we want to use CSS, it'll be there. And Typekit. So sign up for a typekit.com account. It's free um, unless you want to upgrade to kind of a more fancy version. And create a kit, a new kit, and then look for the font Proxima Nova. I'll show you the Proxima Nova font. So I'm just looking for Proxima Nova. And so here is Proxima Nova. We want to click Use Fonts. And then you can add it as web. And then add it to the kit that you want to add it to. So I've already added it to my Brad's blog kit. And then open up your kits here. And then I want to open up Brad's blog kit. You can name yours whatever, obviously. And here is kind of the information about this kit. So the default weights and styles, those will be fine. This is where you can choose the styles you want to include. Um, and up here, using fonts and CSS. So you just reference it, reference it by 
typing Proxima Dash Nova all lowercase inside a pair of strings as a font family like this. And you're going to need the embed code. So copy that embed code right there. And kit settings, this is where you're going to want to name the kit and then choose the domain. So localhost would be good. Uh, maybe your website or your blog, whatever your website's going to be on. Um, but make sure to include localhost. And then you're going to save those settings and then hit publish to make sure it's updated. And then go back to your code editor, go down to the very bottom, just below the closing body tag, paste those two scripts, and these will be your typekit fonts right there for Proxima Nova. Save that. And that should be it. So then all you do at this point, and we'll get there eventually, is for the font family, you just type uh, either railway in a string, pair of strings, or Proxima dash Nova, all lowercase in a pair of strings. What we're going to do is go font family, Proxima Nova, comma, railway, comma, sans serif, so we can have a font stack. All right, that's it for this lecture. And in the next lecture, we're going to be coding the header and the navigation bar of our HTML file. All right, see you there.